What is going on y'all and welcome to the vlog as you guys can see from the thumbnail title all that good stuff we are going to go check out a tesla today i'm super excited for it i've been waiting for this day for like two weeks now for my appointment to go see this tesla so we're gonna go check out the tesla but first we gotta go make a couple stops so let's go it's y'all so finally picked up Alex is in the building now. I didn't tell you guys Alex was even coming with me, but Alex is with me. And uh, we're off to Tesla now. Uh, the weather seems to be kind of iffy. It's rain a little bit, it stops. It rains a little bit, it stops. So we don't know what's going on. But we just did a zero to 60 mile an hour test in my car. Uh, I have an SUV, so it's gonna be pretty comparison to the SUV that they got. And it was 11, eight something. So. This one is a, like a, literally like, oh, I think it's like eight or nine seconds faster than this. Cause ours is basically a 12 second car. That's basically a three second car. So yeah, do the in the middle of that. But super fast compared to what we're gonna be in today. So, uh, or super slow compared to what we're gonna be in later on the day. So I'm pretty excited about it. Alex, are you excited to ride in a Tesla? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not very big of a car guy, I don't think, as much as I am. It's a car, it's a car. I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm more excited to see it drive itself because that's what I've been told yeah. they can do. So. Definitely the driving itself part I think is going to be super sweet because where like you don't have to touch the steering wheel or nothing like that. And it's going to be kind of cool to check it out even if it is kind of raining because we're going to see how it works in the rain. Because uh, that might be a whole nother world because I know a lot of people say that like it doesn't work if it doesn't half ass work in the non rain. So hopefully it works with the rain. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but hopefully it don't crash today. So me and Alex finally made it down here to where Tesla is. It's literally right across the street. We're going to make our way over there now. The rain is, I don't know, it's a little weird. It's like raining and then it's not raining. It's raining and it's not raining. It's uh, definitely raining right now, but I'll show you guys. We're going to flip the camera. I'll show you guys Tesla. So I'm pretty sure, like I'm 100% sure, well not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this Tesla right here is the one we're gonna be driving. So pretty excited about that. But literally, it's right across the street, right over there. crazy any other plans for the day or is this the big thing this was the big thing today actually the plan of it was to drive a tesla so yeah i hear that it is cool how it breaks like that and not even like that's crazy it's so crazy yeah because you don't even really need to break it feels like almost nope that's so crazy because it's like how it like stops like that yep, and you're just gonna go right back down to uh right here yep you can turn left here and that'll get you to the front we're gonna go back on the road and restart it okay yep get this right side over here and then you're gonna turn right out of the parking lot up here and then uh, we're turning left at the stoplight it's crazy the handle's nice like oh yeah well right now it's just the standard there's also the sports handling as well uh 
depends on how you like to drive your car. Yeah, he told me that my one buddy was telling me that these things have like uh, ludicrous mode and stuff. Yeah, this one does not. Oh, excuse me. Right. I can't stop you on that eight like an hour ago. <laughs> um, and then like I said, we're gonna turn left at the the red light up here. Um, yeah, no, this one is just a hundred D, so this is not the performance model. Oh, okay. Uh, but the performance model is zero to sixty in two point eight seconds, which is okay. faster than a Porsche nine eleven Turbo S for an SUV as big as this. It's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Looks like it's trying to be nice out again. Might be. Right mm -hmm. in the middle of the drive, right when you start driving, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's a good thing. It's definitely awesome. So you said when you when you want to put it in, you pull it back, like you'd pull it back. You'll so pull it towards you two times. So well, yeah, it makes that noise. Yeah, that would be that that it did not get enabled correctly. Cool. It'll be a Pretty hard to hit things in it. <laughs> so if you were to swerve out of it or whatever, it would try to avoid you out, like you said. Uh, it depends on it depends on a lot of circumstances. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's obviously going to you know determine speed, um, you know what the obstacle is, things like that. I'm not gotcha. not sure what triggers it, but I know like it'll it'll pull you over in the lane. So like if you fall asleep while you're driving and you got the autopilot engaged and it doesn't sense your hands on the steering wheel, well, what is this person doing? Man? Yeah, I know. Make sure he doesn't come over on us. Yeah, right? Yeah. Jeez. I always make a point about Ohio's drivers throughout the drive, and some people are like, I don't see it. And then something like that happens. Yeah. It's like, do you see it yet? <laughs> yeah. So you can get over one lane, and then this is where we'll engage the uh, autopilot in a second. So honestly, I think you can pull the stock down. Yeah, you can go ahead and pull it down if you want to that bottom one towards you two times. Definitely crazy. Straight down the stelter. Should have went more. Than oh, but I have a zero to sixty, so I have to <laughs> flat. Here we go. Which we feel free, yeah. Which feel free to, to, to punch it for a second. Right, you ready? Um, just be very careful. Just yeah. with white conditions, but you'll be fine. I mean, I had I was punching it earlier in a P one hundred D. So video ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's it's definitely no normal SUV. Let me tell you. Oh, these guys definitely got a lot of. <laughs> There it is. It's pretty wild, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that was about four and a half seconds. Yeah. So like right now, if I wanted to, I could put it in that mode? You could, but on these roads, uh, especially right now with the rain, um, it's been hitting nice. every pothole and hydroplaning. Um, yeah, so it did enable it on my last drive, so I prefer we didn't. Yeah, but in most instances, yeah. Um, this is the biggest thing, it won't read red lights so we'll read stop signs so like say that um you know this jeep in front of us <laughs> were to go through a yellow light you're definitely going to blow through that yellow light as well gotcha. where if he stops at the red you know you stay behind the jeep and you know you both come to a stop um you're going to roll with with traffic and then when he begins going again you're going to go with him. so eventually they're probably going to make it for you It'll of be course yeah definitely. yeah that's that's the plan that's that's the plan we have the cars geared for full autonomy see the cars behind you and everything Just sits here too. There's no gotta worry about a thing. No, literally. If it was in if it was in that mode and there was a car in front of you, like it would know to leave then. It would know to Correct. start and everything. That's yeah. crazy too. Yeah, it gets it, man. Oh yeah, it goes. It ain't nothing to mess around with. That's, that's for sure. Because it's no like one's, no one's gonna wanna race you. No, not even like it's like you're just like you're, you're going 38 miles an hour right there, and it still had that much pickup. Yeah. That's that instant torque. It's What's the difference of this one in the car, though? Uh, it's just bigger. How does it work, though, like, to be able to test drive the car and test drive this? Is that weird? 
No, you were just scheduled a different drive, essentially. Oh, I didn't know if that was even a thing, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, we have sometimes, it depends on, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, nice. In regards, if, if we schedule something else, it's usually probably about four weeks out for educational stuff. So, yeah. uh, if you wanted to schedule something for the DS or anything Maybe, like that, yeah. you might be able to. Do, like, a car one version of it. So, on this screen here, like, how would you, like, where does it, like, show you if you want to go see, like, where the closest charging station is right now? So, you hit the GPS here, and then we hit the lightning bolt. It'll let us know that, you know, Griff City's got six of the eight stalls available. Oh, nice. And then it just gives you a quick template of the amenities. So, like, grocery, Wi-Fi, restrooms, and then, obviously, it's Google Maps, so you can zoom in. And then if you're familiar with Stringtown Road, it's right behind uh, the... Uh, That's cool. City Barbecue, Donato's Pizza, there's a giant eagle with GNC. Dang. Like that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's definitely cool. Huh. Yeah, as soon as there's, like... It shows two cars. Mm -hmm. That's cool that it knows all the way up. Oh yeah. So like I said, you'll be able to get this light. You're gonna turn left to the next one. And it's funny how it, like it shows their cars moving around too. Right. Yeah. Like this makes it more like feel faster. Oh yeah, because there's nothing else around. Yeah. That's crazy. It's so like insanely fast. Just not leaving Tesla, Alex. What did you think of the car? nice uh, definitely very comfortable <laughs> a lot more comfortable than i'm used to more zero, comfortable than i expected zero to 60 was insane man like you could definitely feel it we didn't get to put it in ludicrous mode because it doesn't have ludicrous mode but uh we still got to feel the feel of it and it was definitely mean but uh i mean it's pretty cool though like i would buy one if i had the money would you buy one yeah i probably would I, what do you think of the door the back door the, the door I, it almost took me be... out like i wish you would have had the camera because it literally almost took me out because he pushed the button and uh, uh <laughs> it started closing on my head and i was like oh uh, actually, <laughs> did you get it did you get it i got it on my phone oh gosh he, he got it so we might put it in the vlog oh, so right here he almost hit me in the head with the door like i had to hurry up and get out right there at that point he said my bad <laughs> one more time <laughs> he tried to kill me. Literally, I was right underneath it. Alex got it, and if he would have got it like a couple seconds before that, like I literally had to jump up out of the car because like it was like almost closing on me. <laughs> oh my goodness! But the car is, is super nice. Like the auto braking is unreal. Like literally, you just love the gas pedal and it brakes itself. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely an experience. Definitely an experience. So. Um, it's not as hype as I thought it was gonna be, but it's definitely a really, really cool car. Also, I think I found like the biggest, I think it's pronounced Romakua or Rama, I don't know, but that's like the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. That's like the normal ones you see in like claw machines and stuff. I think it's huge. Hey right, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed the Tesla video. We didn't get a crazy a lot of footage because there's like some weird rules about it where you can't film when it's in autopilot mode, which is kind of weird. Uh, you can't film the, the the guy that takes you on the test drive. Um, I don't know, it was, just a very, it was a very weird feeling. Like they were inviting in when you got there and then towards the end they were like pushing you out. It just, it was definitely a weird feeling. But uh, all in all though, the Tesla was cool. Um, I would buy one because like you get, you get like 300, 350 miles on one charge. So that's always cool. And then you can charge for free for the rest of your life. So that's a plus. And then on top of that, um, you guys basically can, uh, try to explain how, how it would be. Uh, yeah, you just get free, like the brake pads are like last like 100,000 miles. Um, everything's basically auto on it. Uh, the, the, the driving by itself, that's a big question probably people are asking. The driving by itself, how is it? It's sketchy. <laughs> it's definitely not normal, so. That's something weird, um, but yeah, it's definitely not. It's definitely not normal, and it doesn't do like full turns for you. He said, which I was kind of like, okay, that's kind of weird because I thought it would turn and everything for you, but mostly it's just made to go straight. It'll lane change um, if you turn the turn signal on, but a cool feature was if you fall asleep, it will uh, basically if you don't touch the steering wheel after like he said it was like 30 seconds or so many seconds on top of that or whatever it was, uh, the car would 
blink, it, I seen the light and it was started blinking. I don't know if I got a video footage of it, but if you see a, the light on the steering wheel blinking, it was basically telling you, hey, to pull over or hey, it's telling you, hey, to touch the steering wheel or whatever. So um, it would then, if you don't touch the steering wheel, it'll pull over for you. And uh, once it pulls over, it will uh, just park the car basically. So I wanted to film a lot more for you, but the guy kind of wanted to just like, it, it, like, I don't know, it just was a weird feeling, but it was very inviting in, but very weird on the way out. So they know you weren't gonna buy it on the way in. So that was like kind of weird how they were cool with you and then, but, and we didn't get to get into ludicrous mode because they didn't have it. They didn't have that model available to test drive. So it was kind of weird. And he said about four weeks out, if you want to test drive another car, you're welcome to come up and test drive the car version or whatever else. Uh, but he said about four weeks out and we could do it again. So I don't know guys, if you guys want to see me drive the car, uh, version of it, comment down below. Um, yeah, comment down below and we'll go from there. But I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of me driving the Tesla and all that other stuff. But keep on keeping on. Don't let one bring you down. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.